Okay, I don't know what is going on with my camera today, but this shut off on me while I was in the middle of it. So I'm going to go ahead and go over it again. Just about got to the part where I was actually going to graph it. But this topic is graphing solve graphically solving a system of linear quadratic equations. So we only so far know how to solve systems of linear equations, not necessarily systems of nonlinear equations. So here we have a linear equation, right? There's no exponents. And here we have a nonlinear equation. So um, we're each of these and then figure out where they cross or where they um, intersect. And that's how you find a solution graphically. Now, I do notice that on this topic, it wants you to graph parabolas a specific way. It wants you to first identify the vertex, then figure out which way it's opening, and then click on another point to like actually make the parabola. So I'm going to show you how to find each of those pieces. So first, um, then y equals negative 2x squared is a parabola. We need to find the vertex. So to find the vertex, you have to do this first. You have to do this first, okay? That's going to give you the x-coordinate of the vertex. Now, because it's just negative 2x squared, there's literally no b for x and there's no c, okay? So it's literally like 0x plus 0, okay? So when I go to negative b, that's going to be 0. On 2a, a is actually not 1. a is actually supposed to be this value, which is a negative 2 which means I should have gotten 0 or negative 4, but luckily enough, that's going to equal 0. So when I plug in 0 at the x value 0 into this equation, I get that the y value happens to also be 0, okay? So then my vertex is at the point 0. Now, to figure out which way it's opening, it's going to open upward, If the a value is positive, greater than zero, but if my a value is less than zero, negative two is less than zero, then it means it's going to be opening downward, okay? And then I already know that zero, zero is going to be a vertex point. I need another point. So I chose to use the x value of one, and I plugged it into the equation, and I got the y value of negative two. So Alex, this is what you're going to do you're going to plot the vertex first you have to plot the vertex first then it's going to open up a little problem and it could be facing this way it could be facing on the side it could be facing toward the left way or it could be facing up and down it doesn't matter which way it is at first you're going to move your cursor around until you get it so that it's facing down so for me i want to make sure my cursor is below the point so that the parabola will go downward. And then I'm gonna click. Once you click it, it'll be facing downward, and then wherever you move your mouse after that, it needs to be where the other point is. So then I'm gonna move my mouse until I'm at the point one, negative two, and I'll click it there. Once I click that there, it will draw it for me. Now be um, cautious, I'm gonna actually do this for myself. So, it's going to go in this direction. So I'm trying my best to draw as best the parabola as I can to make it as accurate as I can. Then you need to plot the line, okay? And for the line, you just need two points. So I plugged in zero and one since those were the x values that I had there. And I got zero and negative four, and then one and negative six. And so then when I plotted this here. I actually ended up with this line there. Now notice that there's actually two solutions here. There's one solution here, which is at the coordinates um, 2 and negative 8. And then you have another solution over here, which is at the coordinates negative one and negative two, okay? So you actually have two solutions there. So when you go to write your answers, you're actually gonna have two answers. So my solutions with an S are gonna be negative one, negative two, and two, negative eight.
okay? So you will need to be able to eyeball where the two things are intersecting and they actually intersect twice, okay? So both of these points are the solutions to that system of um, equations.